This video will show you how to use the process of finding the area on a graph to answer a question. When answering questions, sometimes you need to use a technique whereby you need to calculate the area under the curve. This video will show you how to calculate the area under the curve across four 10 second intervals on a graph. Here's the basic graph. We're going to look at a 10 second intervals. So in this case, from 5 to 15 seconds to start with. So the area under the curve is defined as that space between the curve and then you go to the axis. Don't cross the axis. The axis is just where you stop. So the yellow box that I've drawn here highlights that area. Now in this case, it's a rectangle, so that's going to be nice and easy to calculate the area. The formula for a rectangle is height times width. So the width is already shown. It's 10 seconds. The height is going to be up here, and it's going to go up to 12 meters per second. So already this doesn't sound like a normal area, and it's not. It's not like finding the area of a plot of land. It's a technique that's called finding the area. So you use the same ideas as height times width, but your answer doesn't come out as some unit squared, like inches squared, or meters squared, or acres. Instead, it comes out according to our rules of, of um, dimensional analysis for finding the units. So here's the area, it height times width. The height is 12 meters per second. The width is 10 seconds. So 12 meters per second times 10 seconds. The seconds divide out. That leaves me with the answer in meters. The final answer is 120 meters. So you can see right here, it's not like finding an area as in a plot of land. It's a weird unit. It's 120 meters. When we talk about area in science and in calculus, we're just talking about the process. Let's look at the next 10 seconds. For the next 10 seconds, I find that space between the curve and the axis. And this time, instead of going from the curve down, I go to the curve up to the axis. So that's the area I'm looking for. It's a rectangular shape. So I use that formula. Area is equal to height times width. The width is already defined to me by the question that I had earlier. It's 10 seconds. And now the height, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at over here to see how high this is. And it's negative 6. So it's unusual to have a height that's negative unless you're working with a, a graph. So the height is negative 6 meters per second. So the area is negative 6 meters per second times 10 seconds. And this is going to give me an answer of negative 60 meters. Again, not like a typical area because you have a negative answer this time. So negative 60 meters. As a general rule, areas below the axis are always negative. Let's continue this process for the next 10 seconds. 25 to 35 seconds, a 10 second width. When I look at the area this time, half of it goes from the curve up to the axis. The other half goes from the curve down to the axis. So in other words, I'm going to have a negative area on the left, and then I'm going to have a positive area on the right. And the way this is drawn, this is symmetrical. If I was to calculate it, I'd use the area for a triangle, because that's the shape that I've highlighted here, two triangles. But because it's symmetrical, and one's negative and one's positive, I know that these two areas are going to add up to give me zero. So they're just going to cancel each other out because they're symmetrical. Now let's look over the last 10 seconds. The last 10 seconds, I'm not going to show you the whole 10 seconds. I'm just going to show you how to get started on this to see how it's done. To begin with, I've got a curve. So now I've got to find the area under the curve. Unless I'm using calculus and I define the curve's function, and then I can integrate with it. I, I can't do this with the picture very accurately. So what I've got to do is I've got to have little strips. So here are the little highlighted yellow strips. So now what I need to do is instead of finding the area in one calculation, I've got to do the area for each strip and add up the area of each strip. So all I want first to show you how it's done is to find the area of this little strip right here. This shape can be divided up as a rectangle and a triangle, or I can divide it up as a trapezoid. Now when I find this area, it's an approximation. It's not exact. There's a small gap in my calculations. So when I'm using this method, it's just approximating the area. The smaller the width, the better the approximation. So since it's a trapezoid, the area is the average of the bases. That's base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. Base 1 is going to be defined as the side on the left. So that's going to be 6 meters per second. Base 2 is the side on the right, and that's going to be 12 meters per second. The height, well, I think of my trapezoid as being turned sideways. Since it's turned sideways, the height is actually two seconds, and it's the horizontal length that I've highlighted. So when I put in my number, six meters per second plus 12 meters per second, divided by two times two seconds, the area is 18 halves times two, which is nine meters. So the area of that first two seconds is nine meters. To finish out my entire 10 second interval, I've got to do this four more times for four more sections that I've highlighted, and then add up all those areas, and that'll be the total area for that 10 second time interval.